So guys, we're gonna be looking at all the pre-BTS tarantulas that we have in the collection so far. And what I mean by pre-BTS are the ones that were purchased before the BTS. That would be the ones that we got from the spider shop and two that I bought from pet shops. Now there will be annotations at the end to all of those three videos, the ones where we did the spider shop unboxing and for each individual tarantula that I got from the pet shops. So guys, unfortunately, we also did have one death in our tarantula collection, but we'll get into that in just a moment. Hello and welcome back to Bug Realms. So before we get into the video properly, I just want to tell you the death was our little Hattie Hattie Purple with the scientific name provided for you up above. Um, it was only a one to two centimeter sling when I got it and unfortunately a few weeks back when I was checking on everything um, it was it had passed away unfortunately it's the only tarantula death that we've had in our collection so far and I'm sorry that I couldn't show you that any further I'm still new with tarantulas as you all know whether it was me to blame or whether it was just the way of nature with such a small sling I don't know um, I'm not going to show you the dead spider just because there's really no point with it being that small. Anyway, let's move on to more positive things. So, first things first guys, we're gonna be rehousing our Theraposa Sturmy, which is actually just here. You can't see it very well at the moment. If you wanna know the story behind how I got this one, like I said, this is not one of the spider shop ones. There'll be a little annotation somewhere up above here and you can check out that video. Now, it's probably still okay in here, it's such a small sling, but the problem that I have is every time I remove this lid, if it's not in its burrow, it will jump out at any chance that it gets, and that's a bit of a pain to do every time I feed. So I'm gonna be popping it in this one here. It's gotta start a little burrow down there if it wants to use it, water dish, and a bit of decoration. So without further ado, let's get her or him rehoused. And straight in. So there we have our little guy or little girl. Still small, but it has actually uh, molted once in my care. I will put up a little clip of me with a macro lens with the molt. I'm not very good with uh, filming with that macro lens. You've got to hold it like literally directly on the molt to, to get any kind of quality. Um, but I'll show you that now. So now the spider shop ones as promised. So first of all, this is our tiny little Pelanobius muticus. I don't know if I've said that right, so sorry if not. Uh, common name King Babing. Still a tiny, tiny sling. There we have it. Seems to be doing absolutely fine in here. Eats okay. It has been fed recently, so I'm not gonna do that on camera today. We will do a feeding footage um, on an upcoming video. So guys, I couldn't seem to get any footage of our T. gigas at the moment. It's very, very well hidden, or commonly known as the orange tree spider. However, it did have a molt laying in the bottom. I know it's still alive, I saw it yesterday, but I didn't have my camera on me at the time. So what I'll do, I'll show you that molt for now. And if I do manage to capture any footage of it before this video is due out, I'll edit it in after this little clip. So guys, next we're going to be doing our Davis Pentalorus. I found this cool bit of bark here with an actual hole inside, which is a, a good size for it. Um, I'm going to be putting it in here because again, it's in quite a reasonably shallow burplast tub, if that's how you pronounce it. Um, and although feeding it is fine, I want it in something that was a, a little bit deeper because this one does like to burrow. All I have to do is fill the water dish down here and I get all of this on the top and it drives me absolutely mad just from a small amount of water. 
Now this one is very, very bolty, which is why I'm not showing you with the lid off right now. But uh, let's see how this transfer goes. So there he or she is just in that corner there. Now normally when I open the lid, it actually runs into a burrow. I also do believe that this one may have molted a couple of weeks back. So uh, we're gonna check under these bits of bark in a little while and see if there's any sort of sign of a molt there. It's got such beautiful patterning to it. Now let's try and get it in. Be a bit easier if I remove some of this. Oh, and I found actually found the molt already. Just here. We'll uh, take a look at that in a little while. Take out the other piece. Here she's actually just gone down in here using the old house spider trick that you used to get them out of your house. Now I'm only gently pushing here to kind of tease the legs. I'm not putting any real pressure onto the tarantula. And there we have her, nice and simple. So though you can see this one is a little bit wider, the other one's a little bit deeper and has a, a bit of more substantial hide space. So there's, oh, sorry girl, there's our girl or boy right there. Now, may well bolt up the sides when I put it in, but we'll soon find out. So there's a better view for you guys of our Davis Pentaloris. I think that malt's probably going to be unsexable. It's quite crinkled up and uh, destroyed. Coming to the edge of the enclosure, and as you can see, that's the burrow bit. I did actually knock a bit of substrate in there by mistake while doing the transfer, but he or she will mold it how they want. May not even use it, we'll see. But I just wanted to get that close up shot because it's absolutely stunning. Last but not least, we're going to rehouse our Brachypelma Kallenbergi, which is just in here. It likes to burrow down and I don't think it's got quite enough space to do so. Although it still seems pretty happy in that enclosure, um, it was only ever set to be a temporary one anyway. And I've noticed that it did get a little bit bigger the other day. It sealed off its burrow for quite a while and then the burrow reopened and it must have molted and it was larger. So I had a little poke around in there the other day. I found a really, really damaged molt, as in it was all in various pieces. So we're not gonna have a look at that molt. But if you go back to the video of where I got it, I will put it up here somewhere for you to click on on a card. You'll be able to see uh, exactly how it looked then. And now we'll get it out, rehouse it and see how it looks now. Ah, it's actually sat on the underside of this. Now this, if you guys seen the Dark Den uh, footage where he did all of our multi clips of feeding, all the tarantula YouTubers put a clip in of their, their tarantulas feeding. It was actually this one, you could have seen it just inside um, this bit here, which was used as a starter burrow. Now it's completely destroyed that now. But I'm gonna see if it doesn't bolt, if I can get it out in one on this, this piece here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this underneath just so I can show you. 
not very good footage I'm afraid, but we'll get some more when it's actually in there. Now I'll put the cup underneath because I don't want the tarantula to fall. It really likes to stay on this uh, <laughs> this piece of polystyrene. There we are. So there we are. That's some better footage, so you can uh, see him or her. Really, really happy with this one. It seems to have. Um, grown in quite a size uh, from when it molted and as you know I'm and I keep saying I'm not an experienced tarantula keeper so if somebody could write below and tell me about the growth rate of these guys because uh, I didn't expect in one molt for it to have grown that size it also molted very quickly I, I assumed that brachypalmas in general weren't particularly fast growers but when I first got this one it had molted and has molted again in my care so I just think it's brilliant. So ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna be it from today's video of our pre-BTS tarantulas. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I did things correctly. If I didn't, someone please let me know. Anyone that's new to this channel to let you guys know, I'm still new with the tarantula hobby. I'm not, however, new with invert hobby as a whole. Stick insects is my thing. I'm still learning with the tarantulas and I want to continue to grow and provide them good care. Now, I know I'm using critter keepers for each one. That's because they fit perfectly on my shelves. I am aware that species that require higher humidity, I may need to block some ventilation holes. I want to let you know that everything does have a water dish and had a water dish previous. It's just not in every shot you would have seen it because some were taken out before or added in afterwards. Anyway guys, if you are brand new to this channel, please hit that subscribe. If you hit the little bell, bell icon next to the subscribe, it means it will let you know when I do my future uploads and that will be fantastic for me and fantastic for you guys, I hope. Uh, hit the thumbs up if you did like this video, ladies and gentlemen, and leave me a comment below. So thanks again guys, take care, bye bye.